So last time, uh, when we ended, we went to the Safari Zone, caught a few Pokemon. While it was grinding, I did, I know I've been joking about uh, completing the Reggie Trio. And while it was grinding, you might be surprised to see that I basic, we've basically completed the trio. We've got Reggie Rock, we've got Reggie Steel, and then we also have the last member of the Reggie Trio. Come on out, Reggie Ice, who I nicknamed Vanilla Ice. Your nature is minus attack plus speed, I think, which isn't the worst thing. Polywag and Geodude we caught in the Safari. Uh, this we caught on our way there, and I believe we caught this one in the water. Maybe both of them in the water. Now this was in a cave. We caught you in the water. Um, but yeah, that's basically what happened last time. I actually forget what happens in the story here. I'm not actually sure if the Lake of Rage is actually next. But, we're going to find out. Oh, also we caught Swablu. That's what it was. We got Swablu, and I decided we could Swablu over Swellow, just so we'd have some sort of dragon typing, you know? Uh, it really is a shame, because I learned Cotton Guard doesn't exist yet. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I was hoping to teach uh, this Pokemon Cotton Guard them be pretty bulky. Uh, I guess we can do a little team recap before we get it going here. We got Kudia. I was going to be Claudia, but I forgot the L. And I was like, ah, Kudia is not bad. Natural Cure, Dragon Breath, Astonish, Sing, Fly. We got a lot of sleep on the team. That probably won't stay for long. Hades did learn Earthquake. We got Ominous Wind. Uh, I should probably spend a bit more time here, since you don't know it. So, she's minus special defense, plus attack. But I'm pretty sure this Pokemon's naturally bulky, so it's not the worst na nature, I guess. Yep, nothing's really changed for these guys. We're just gonna keep on going. Uh, Sasha might evolve soon. I might keep holding it if it keeps becoming slow, bro. Because I think it turned off like possibly Evo's at like 40 or something. If that is an option for these earlier games. But yeah, hoping to at least get to Lake of Rage today, maybe. And we are still good on healing items. Uh, last time we took on Jasmine, and she had a Crobat and some other Pokemon. But that Crobat, we had no switch-ins for. Uh, because it was like level 43 or something, the Crobat was like your Steelix. A level 340 Poke. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely haven't been over here. I'll tell you what... <laughs> the TM for fell swipe, huh? Well, we're just gonna keep going. Uh -huh. I should bring a headbutt Pokemon over here later. Get a free encounter that way. Oh, is this a rival fight? Or is this Suicune dude? Oh, is he gonna give me strength? Oh boy, sorry I bumped you. Did it hurt? Here, take this. This has to be strength, right? Yep. And Regigigas will now learn this move. 
that a digi dizzy punch. It's a move called strength. That's the main reason Regigigas is on the team. He's not an awful Pokemon. He has stuff like uh, Bulk Up and or Dragon Dance. And he's normal type, so at least he'll have Stab Strength. Which, you know, it's gotta be strong. Uh, I did grind up uh, Roselia as well. But the thing is, um, unless I get, like, more TMs, uh, I don't think Roselia is going to be a good fit for the team, even though it knows growth. But growth, poison sting, not the strongest thing out there. Yeah, base 80 stab, that's not awful. Yep. I mean, Dizzy Punch might be stronger, right? Was it like, yeah, 70? It's 100% accurate? Wait a minute. I can't believe that. Well, this is, well, this is more power and stab as well. That's not too bad. Boom. I mean, that's basically like turn, right? And like, uh,. I'm sure that's a max love return level. Silk Scarp boosted strength. We do have Surf. So we can be surfing. But the first thing we're going to do is get a nice little fishing encounter. With our good friend, the Good Rod. Yeah, I hope your day's been going well. Uh, in my part of the world, it's been super rainy and foggy lately. But, you know, weather. Ooh, this could be a cool Pokemon. Let's see. It'd be killer if it was Adaptability Corefish. It was Adaptability Corefish. More Pokemon to no fly. That's cool. Uh, hit it with a Dragon Breath. Actually, that will probably kill. Yeah, this is probably a dead Pokemon. Probably shouldn't have done that. Nope, I'm at... Well, I didn't want to be caught. Didn't want to be caught there. Well, that's another encounter we're not going to get. But yeah, I was uh, not thinking of Whirlwind. That was one of the last things on my mind. But yeah, obviously I knew Dragon Breath wasn't going to kill there, so that's why I used it, you know? We'll be surfing. I guess we'll surf. Um, Huh. This is interesting. I'm pretty sure what the cave does is it's just another way around here. Alright. Hope it's not a Pidgeotto. And I might use the old rod just for science, but we already used the rod encounter. Huh. Well, that's dupes. We already have Suicune. Which is kind of crazy. But honestly, there's no way it's the only surf encounter I can get here, right? Like, if I, if I keep moving, I certainly won't get another Suicune. That happens a third time. I'm just going to assume that... Uh, Suicune's the only Pokemon here out in the evening slash night time. So let's see. More Suicunes. Unlucky. And our Suicune's not a good nature, but, uh... 
It is dupe, so we're gonna walk around again. If we don't get anything, I guess I can replace it with the uh, old rod encounter. Whatever that is. I guess just put it to sleep. Because that'd be crazy if, like, Magikarp was just randomized to Suicune here, which it looks like it was. I don't know. There's no way Water-type Pokemon here is Magikarp, right? Because that would mean you, you could catch level 20 Magikarps here? That's a little crazy. What's crazy is that's almost as strong as my Suicune level-wise. Okay. Well, we'll see what the old rod gives us. And if the old rod gives us dupes, I guess uh, I'll just have to surf here later, I guess. By later, I guess I mean earlier in the day. Now, doing good, doing well. Not much on the encounters. I hope this isn't a bad omen here. Or we don't catch anything. Which, I mean, wouldn't be the end of the world. But, I have no idea how crazy the levels are getting. Because it's to the point where it's like, oh, they're like 10 levels higher. Which just means a lot of grinding on my part. On an unrelated note, um... I found a ROM editor for Pokemon Conquest. If anyone's interested, uh, I guess you can leave a comment and maybe I can post a link to it. And I was thinking of uh, buffing some Pokemon in that game. Because I looked at some of the settings, and, you know, there are some Pokemon that just get done dirty. Like, Colonel Mine's an example. Like, he's only good early game. But the main thing I was thinking about is uh, Lilligant. Just because it's actually a pretty good Pokemon, except uh, its attacking move causes confusion, which means you have to get the version that's immune to confusion. But uh, I'm pretty sure if you have Oichi's Charm, it makes you immune to that the confusion part. But I'm also pretty sure I've tested it before. Ooh. Ooh, this is a cool Pokemon. Right? Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting such an animation. Oh my gosh, it's a Lugia! <laughs> and this Pokemon, I wouldn't be surprised if it had Whirlwind. But you know what? Yo, it's crazy. I spent so long grinding up Claudia. But if I could just catch this with a quick ball, this would be great. Um, yeah, I guess Lugia could go on the team. If Lugia goes on the team, what does that mean for us? If Lugia went on the team, I could probably switch out Kudia and huh? Who wants? <laughs> Who wants to be named Lugia, huh? Ooh, I have a great idea for a name for this guy. I was thinking... I was thinking of... Get in here. There were two names I was thinking of. One was uh, Shinji. The other was Vinny, which would have been cool. As I'm sure people know who Vinny is. But instead, we will continue the weeb theme. theme. And I hope I'm smelling, spelling this right. Arrow Smith. And let me know if I spelled it wrong. But yeah, man. See, this is the thing. I do so much grinding, but then in the next stream, I find something that's obviously much better. 
which is crazy. So that is 100% worth uh, giving up that Suicune encounter since we already have one. It's a good on our part. Well, actually, we have the Legendary Claws anyway, so I guess I'll just check that out later in the day. And see what, what else we can get. Our mount motor. And I'm super confident. I Yeah, I definitely haven't been here. Because the mountain dude gave me strength. And I'm confident he wouldn't have done that if I'd already been there. Insects played, huh? Well, we don't have any bug types. But... Huh. I could do a restructuring of my team if I put a Luya on there. I could probably switch Sasha out for another water type, which we have plenty of. Maybe Poliwhirl would see some use. Uh, nah, Claudia's still probably the best Pokemon I have for catching things. Uh, actually, maybe Sasha is. Uh, I'm, we're gonna keep, keep you out. Just in case we run into something that might kill Sasha. Because, I mean, Sasha has yawned, but what else does she have? You know? All right, let's see what our encounter is. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. A Lapras? Water Ice? This is not bad. You know, this or Celia would probably go on the team, I think. If I put Lugia on, Lapras is another. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a it's a lady too. Man, maybe this is White Alvin. Um, I could probably hit it with a Surf from Sasha, or I do the smarter thing, and I just go out into Darkrai because it has the Nightmare ability. This is just passive damage. Yeah, if I can't get a slow queen, I mean, I know slow boy is pretty busted. Hmm, I guess I already have ice coverage, though. If. You know, be our friend. I guess I already have ice uh, coverage with Reggie, because he knows Ice Punch. So maybe there's other things I could do. What's a cool water stand? I know I said stand, so I guess you already know where I'm going with this. I was thinking... Um, the only ones I can think of are like Diver Down. Oh wait, Soft and Wet. Oh, I doubt we're gonna catch a Vaporeon, so I feel like this is obviously gonna be Soft and Wet. I mean, Soft and Wet. Oh. There we go. Uh, and the ant symbol has to be on here. I refuse to believe it's not. Am I crazy? Am I just blind? Maybe I'm just blind. I could have sworn the ant symbol is here. I, I guess I'll just go to the name of her. That's crazy. Yes. Guess it's gonna be. What if we do soft and wet? Okay. 
And soft and wet, if you didn't know, is a JoJo stand. But do let me know if you want this to be your Pokemon that you want to name. You know, just let me know. And it can be yours. Because as we've obviously seen, uh, lots of cool Pokemon use. And I don't know why I wouldn't use a Lapras, you know. Lapras is pretty cool. But actually, I I literally just talked about why I wouldn't use Lapras, because Rich Gigas has the coverage. But if this isn't a Legendary, we can't catch it, since it's also another cave encounter. Like, it's not fishing, it's not a rock being smashed. Oh, this is dupes anyway. And honestly, you're not worth the PP. Because in the Safari Zone, there was like level 25 Pokemon I could grind against. Some of which were uh, Slugma, Linoon, Luxuray, Iglybuff, and Regice. I think Regice was the rare encounter, because I only saw like two of them. Well, that's probably an exaggeration. I only saw like four or five of them, period. And I probably spent like an hour on speed up grinding up all my Pokemon. Which, I mean, some of which was spent grinding on Roselia, but Roselia is not going to evolve unless I get the stone. You know. And won't know any good poison moves unless I get TMs. So. You know, Luminion? If Luminion was a better Pokemon, I would consider using it. Or if Luminion had something crazy like Water Bubble or Regenerator by default. Because there are a lot of Pokemon like that. Like Amola, Amola, Ola? Or Amola, Ola? I don't know how you say it. Hmm. I don't know which path to take. Do I go? I think I go. I think I take the steps. Because that looks like a rock climb kind of thing. Which probably the steps lead me to it. But it's whatever. Another Luminion. Yeah. Um, when I get a better computer, I can actually run the more recent games. Um, I'll probably I'll probably look into some ROM hacks because maybe I'll do a ROM ROM hack like uh, Vintage White, or I hear there's a Heart Gold uh, ROM hack, but I feel like I should, you know, go into a totally new generation. But yeah, I'll probably do that. Maybe I'll try to do a full Nuzlocke of it. Like, I'm pretty sure Emerald Kaiser is the super hard one I've heard about, so I definitely wouldn't do that one. But, maybe I'll try, like, doing a full-on Nuzlocke. But, maybe, maybe it'd be my kind of Nuzlocke. Where, instead of anything like chat involvement, since it's actually legitimately hard, I just do like the same. Oh, this would have been nutty. This would have been cool. Especially if I turned on, off impossible Evos. Having a Gengar. I mean, but I feel like I don't need a Gengar. I mean, I have Darkrai. We have Darkrai. Big root. Mm -hmm. Almost makes me wish uh, I taught Roselia Leech Seed. But my rationale not doing that was growth. Uh, well, I guess go a uh, growth Giga Drain is actually pretty strong with a uh, big root. Um, I know I've been talking Roselia up a lot, even though I'm not on the team because it's not going to evolve anytime soon. But it knows Giga Drain, Toxic Spikes. Um. I said Giga Drain already. 
Oh, growth. I don't remember what the last move is. Oh, poison sting. Yep. But uh, poison sting's not a not a very strong move at all. But it's like the only poison move it learns. I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe when it evolves, it learns sludge bomb by level up. Because I mean, it's kind of a crime, right? If it didn't learn any other poison moves besides uh, toxic spikes. Yeah, maybe I stop teaching my Pokemon Fly. I think that's what I'm learning. Even though uh, Kudia here doesn't learn any flying moves besides, like, Peck. So I was like, oh, I'll teach you Fly. What's the harm in that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see, I see. So this is where strength comes in. And also probably uh, Rock Smash and stuff, but maybe I can get a Surf Encounter too. But I mean, honestly, I don't think Lapras could possibly be better than uh, better than our potential slow uh, slow king slash queen. Because I'm cover strong. Amnesia strong. Ooh. Okay, normal Pokeball. It happens sometimes. And we, we've gotten pearls and such, so. That's okay. Yeah, comment down below. If you want. Uh, any of these Pokemon be named after you that aren't uh, Hades or the Executor. And, you know, I know I'm being a little scatterbrained here. I know I was talking about Pokemon Conquest earlier, and I do think there are Pokemon that deserve buffs in there. Like I said, Carnivine and such. Uh, I want to beat the main story at least once before I mess around too much with any of it. But I'm sure if you just Google uh, ROM editor Pokemon Conquest, it will be one of the first three things that pop up. I'm, it's fairly new because when I look, look, you know, when I searched for that stuff like a month ago, it didn't exist. Or I couldn't find it on my search engine. But it sure exists now. And you can edit move strength, warrior strength, which I don't want to mess with. But, like, what I would probably edit would be, like, main, your main warrior uh, links. Because I feel like, you know, you want your dude to be able to link with whatever you want, you know? And maybe, like, spawns for the more annoying Pokemon. Uh-oh. There we go. This is super good. Can I get a screenshot? All righty, we found leftovers. That's pretty big. Um, I mean, I could give this to just about anyone on the team and it put in work. Like, uh, I mean, if Sasha evolves, giving her leftovers, leftovers amnesia, leftovers slack off. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if she know, ever can learn cosmic power, but leftovers co cosmic power, slow bro? I mean, come on. What would dare switch into that? Oh, wait a minute. I think I have the stone to evolve. Uh, to evolve, what's-her-face? 
That'd be cool. But we just picked up leftover. Leftovers Louia could be good. Even though it's not like Marvel scale or whatever the awesome ability Lugia gets. I should probably uh, be leading. Well, let's get our dowsing machine. Okay. I was saying I should probably be leading a dark eye. Just in case we get into any fights, but uh, who's to say? Get into any fights, trainers. So yeah, and I've said it a few times. I'm not trying to destroy the game balance or anything, but things I'd like to change. Some things I'll probably change is like abilities. Like, I badmouth how bad stuff like Blaze and Swarm, all those are. Because what they do is they give you the same buff that something like Guts would give you. But almost only when you're dead. Which isn't too strong. Especially when there are abilities that do the same thing, but also heal you. Like, it's like, why why would you ever take Blaze or something like Spirit, which, when you're at one-third, gives you a stat boost, and then heals you for, like, I think it's 30%. It's something. It's noticeable. So I did already buff those. Like, I made them plus two attack instead of just plus one. Which, you know, I don't think anyone would be mad about. I think it's kind of cool. Because it would make me... Ooh, Torkoal's actually super cool. Shell armor, Torkoal. That wouldn't be bad. There are actually a lot of cool Pokemon in here. None I'd normally use. Uh, Torkoal's pretty cool. Shell armor. I'm sure you're not a file saw guy. You're just a battle dude. I'm also super sure I just beat you up, right? There's no way you have level 37 Pokemon or something. Now, the reason I made uh, like half my team over level 40 was because I'm not sure where the story goes. Like, I'm sure. I think the next thing has to be Team Rocket stuff, right? Which makes me think I have to fight Giovanni and all his goons. Which makes me also think I don't have anything to hit. Or do I? Which makes me also think, oh, if I have to fight his goons, they're going to have, like, gym leader level Pokemon, right? Not the Omni Boost. We just say thanks for the money. But yeah, nothing puts the fear of God in me. Like these gem battles. Because every time I think I'm up to par, the answer is I'm not. Well, that was fun. Is there any reason to fight this guy? Looks like there isn't. This has the money. But I guess money is reason enough. Okay. Hmm. I'll back it up a bit. It looks like that's all you get. Well, actually, this was 100% worth. We got leftovers, so. I could have terrible memory here, but there weren't any other paths I could take. At the moment, so we'll just get out of here. Instead of me doubling back. Hey, there wasn't anywhere else I could go. Yeah, there wasn't anywhere else I could go. So we're just going to get out of here. Get a Lapras. Lapras is pretty cool. And 
as I suddenly move on to the next topic, which I was thinking of, another Pokemon thing, Pokemon Unite. Uh, when this is posted, this is May 4th. May the 4th be with you and all that. But the current meta... Um, I played with Lane Gengars. It's not so bad. I'm still maining, like, Machamp. Uh, I did have a game earlier where I popped off super hard, but I didn't feel like I did. Uh, it was an 18-kill, 11-assist game. Um, and it wasn't like our team comp was much better. Uh, our team actually didn't do much of anything. Like, I was like, I, I had no idea what happened. Oh, yeah. It was because uh, they were griefed, and I was not. Like, they had a Snorlax who was taking jungle. They had Arcrustal and Lucario. I played the Lucario I played with, who I thought did a lot. Because he did things like uh, not waste his Unite before Zap. He actually uh, did damage to Zap and stuff. I thought he did a good job. But when I saw his stats, he was... He got zero kills, he got nine assists, didn't even do 20k damage, <laughs> and I was like, dang, I thought you did a, lot, did a lot more than you did. I was like, you were dominating bottom lane, it was just you and a crustal, and neither of you did much. <laughs> At least that's what the stats said. But I was like, I was like, the real MVPs were top lane, because I didn't gank them once, and they didn't get bodied or anything. That was one of my better games, because I... Got 18 kills and, like, Genesis. Yeah, but instead of me talking about how awesome I did that one game, let me talk about the main subject, which was... Hmm. I'll probably walk out first, right? Probably walk out first and then go up. Um, The main subject is how a lot of the games are stompy, but ultimately still revolve around Zap. And there's just sometimes where you play with teams where it's like, ooh, ooh, interesting. Maybe I should have gone up. Where it's like our team doesn't have much rip on it, but we might have good have at least someone who can secure besides myself. Or it might be okay. So this is way out. Or it might be the opposite where it's like we have a bunch of rip but no secure. So uh, the way the zap fight ends up going, um. I'm starting to think, call me crazy, it's better to use your Unite at, like, normally, depending on who you are, and if your team is nice to let you kill bees in jungle and stuff, you don't want to Unite after 3.30, after 3.20, right? But what I've noticed is, in the Zap fight, um, you know, death timers are a thing and all that stuff, but sometimes it's all about the refight. Sometimes if you just go into the fight, right, you might unite and die, or you'll you'll you know you'll use your unite when you technically didn't need to, right? And you'll have to deal with uh, like even if you get a team wipe, depending on levels and all that stuff, there might be like two or three people who spawn before you can even possibly kill Zap. And, you know, maybe you'll need your Unite to stop them. So sometimes, so what I've been doing lately is if if I have my Unite, if I have it, like, at 340, I'm like, okay, I'm using it no matter what. There, there's no, I will throw myself into a fight, even if I die. Banjo Man, you've returned. Uh, I'm actually just talking about uh, Pokemon Unite right now, about how... I might be considered throwing, but I still use use my Unite. Uh, maybe later than I should, because a lot of it is in the refight now. Um, a lot of crazy stuff happened. I caught a Lugia today, man. Uh, I'm not going to be on the team because it's level 10, but uh, we caught a Lugia today. Uh, I'll do a quick team recap just for you, but how have you been, Banjo Man? I know it's been a minute. But yeah, like when we started stream, I was like, oh, I spent uh, a noticeable, okay, that's good to hear. I spent a noticeable amount of time grinding because we almost lost the run again to a Crobat, but I bought Moo Moo Moke, so we were fine. 
But Jasmine Steelix was randomized to a Crobat that knew uh, Confuse Ray, Dark Move, Flying Move. And I think it was something that boosted its evasion or something. And I was just like, ooh, we don't have switch-ins. Ooh. Um, yeah, it was it was mainly just Regigigas tanking. And I think I was glad it was Regigigas because no one else could take the hits. Because, like, even if I went into Gra- Groudon, uh, I think Groudon would have lost the 1v1. Yeah, he, Groudon would have lost because... Um, because he knew Mudshot, Hammer Arm, Dragon Dance, Fire Fang, and uh, Fire Fire Fang wouldn't have killed Crobat fast enough, even in the sun. So we got out of a sticky situation. Uh, but today, uh, we're trying to make it to a Lake of Rage. I forget how the story goes, because uh, last thing we did was Safari Zone. But I'm hoping we get to Lake of Rage today. But yeah, let me show off the team real quick. We've still got basically the same people. Uh, we switched out Executor for a flying type. So we've got uh, Darkrai, who does know a dark move now. Uh, Hades, your man, uh, finally knows a physical ground move. Uh, Pluzma's rocking the same stuff. Uh, this was supposed to be Claudia, but I forgot the L, so now it's Kudia. Uh, they know fly. Regigigas just learned strength. And then, I'm pretty sure I turned off impossible evos, but I think it's at, like, level 40 or something. So I'd like a slow king, but maybe we just get a slow bro. Which isn't bad. We also have a lot of other water types that are pretty good. Like, last stream we caught, uh, Poliwag with Water Absorb. And a Lantern, sadly, has Volt Absorb instead of Water Absorb. Because if you already have a Ground type, you know, Volt Absorb's not that great. But yeah, man, we're just gonna go to the next city. We're gonna keep the grind going. We caught a Lapras in here, which I was like, oh, that's another cool Pokemon. But yeah, we should be fine. Um, cause the last, the strongest Pokemon we've seen was Jasmine Steelix, which was randomized to a Crobat, which was level 43. And, uh, we were like 38 or something at the time. So, I did a, had to do a bit of grinding to get caught up. But I don't think anything, cause I'm pretty sure Team Rocket stuff is next. And I'm confident that... As we go through it all, that there's nothing that's gonna have like four level, four or five levels on us again. Or at least I hope not. But you know, if, if a Pokemon has to die, you know, it will happen. It'll probably be uh, Kudia, just because all the stuff that happened. Uh, we actually did miss an encounter today. Uh, it was Pidgeotto, uh, a new whirlwind. And my first concern was, wait, I attacked it with a stab move. It's going to die. But I actually ended up on red. I'm like, oh, I'm so smart. But then it used Whirlwind, turn one. And I was like, man, should have just balled, I guess. But yeah, we're doing good, Banjo Man. Hopefully we see whatever Luck Lake of Rage has for us. And we have a flying Pokemon, so we'll be able to move everywhere we need to go. Uh, one way or another, we're getting to Lake of Rage. So, that means... Because I forget the order. I don't know if it's Lake of Rage, then Radio Tower. Or if it's Radio Tower, then Lake of Rage, you know? Yeah, we're just going to keep on going. Keep on trucking along. But glad you could make it, man. Um, You know what? Tomorrow... Uh, ooh, Mr. Mime. That must have been the rare rare encounter in here. I can't be- wait, what? I can't believe at some point I caught one of these. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, tomorrow, uh, the stream's gonna be a bit shorter. 
because uh, I'm going to be going to the movies, man. I'm going to see that new uh, Marvel movie, uh, Multiverse of Madness. But don't worry. Uh, when I see it, I I won't spoil anyone on it. Because no one would want to tune in for spoilers. But yeah, the stream will pro probably be shorter. Route 42, huh? Let's see, is that... Yeah, I could have just surfed here, I guess. I guess I could have just surfed here, huh? So this is actually the same route? Uh, I'll surf around and see. Well, if it's the same route, it's fine, because a grass encounter is different from uh, a water encounter in my rules. So I guess that makes sense why there's no grass on the other side then. Oh, you also missed it. Uh, I found leftovers. Speaking of missing, uh, you're only level 24, but I'm not going to make the same mistake. Uh, Darkrai, a few a few streams ago, almost died to a Polyrath, because I was like, what's a Polyrath going to do? And complete, I knew he was a fighting type, but in my mind, I was like, ah, there's no way it's going to kill Darkrai. And I hit with uh, Submission. Man, I was red. Red like a book here. Um, I could have gone... I could probably still switch into Claudia. Because there's no way it hypnosis is again. And I honestly don't care for these sleep turns. There's no way it hypnosis is... Yeah. Even if it does, I should have done this in the first place. Because she has natural cure. I'm pretty sure she's a she. So, in the world where he hypnosis is again, and it lands, uh, I'll wake up, so it's fine. Yeah, even, even if uh, Kudia won't be on the team for long, even if I decide to replace her with uh, Luvia Akat, yep, Leftover's already in action. Uh, she'll still at least have use. But yeah, Lugia leftovers act to be cool. I am not looking forward to grinding Lugia up, but I feel like I just have to. I mean, it's Pokemon Heart Gold. I'd be a fool not to use a Lugia that I caught in the wild. Too much, too powerful. Oh, also, um, I missed. See, this is why I switched Darkrai out. But uh, I caught the last Reggie today as well. Because uh, while I was grinding, I found a Reggie Ice. So we now have the complete Reggie Trio and Reggie Gigas. So I probably won't be on the team or anything. Well, I pray <laughs> we're not going to be here for 12 years because Kudia can't hit a fly. I'm sure that's not going to happen. You wouldn't miss a second time. There we go. And I'm sure this Okos. You got a few levels on you. And Leftover's already putting in dividends. Oh, especially since you know Fly. You know, super good. Super good on us. And I just need to remember that Kudia definitely knows Fly, so. And has Leftover's. If I find any more items by the water, I'll give you some. Yes. This sounds like a good exchange. He's not someone who's just going to randomly like, call me and speak nonsense. Because I know when you beat the Elite Four, you can call people on random routes. And depending on who they are, they'll be like, oh yeah, I'd love to fight you. Or vice versa. They'll call you and want to fight. But uh, let's get that item over there. It could be literally anything. Ooh, I guess I can't get that. That's a shame. 
But hey, Banjo Man, I have a question for you. What's your favorite uh, main series Pokemon game? Oh, I need to know Cut, don't I? For me, um, I said Nostalgia, it's hard cold. Like, as cool as Legend of Arceus is and stuff, uh, it has to be Ultra, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Because I like the story pretty much. And they removed the need for HMs. Because, like, unironically, I love Team Skull. Like, Guzma, Guzma and everything. Yeah, I feel like this is a... Oh, okay, yeah, this is a totally different place. So I am going to come back here and bring a cut Pokemon. I might just do that off stream. But, uh... To advance the Suicune subplot. But yeah, I, re I really like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Because it's super cool. Um, the only thing about it is there's not as many, like, traditional gym battles, but the story's pretty good. And I like the gimmicks and stuff. Like, Z-moves were interesting. And, like, the whole um, Ultra Necrozma fight, that was fun. Like, when it first came out, you know, people didn't know, oh, it knows a bunch of coverage moves. And Ultra Necrozma can basically one-shot you if it's super effective. And there's, like, only, like, five or six Pokemon you can get that can't be hit for super effective by that point in the game. Like, I'm pretty sure... Um, I know Aegislash can uh, do pretty well in that fight because it's Ghost Steel. Yeah, I love Sun and Moon. I also love Guzma, unironically. Pikachu. Hmm. I could be wrong. But I'm probably not. I don't think I have anything Pikachu related in my uh, box. So, looks like it is Pikachu for us today. The mascot Pokemon. It's cool it's a girl though. Wow. Wow, this Pikachu must really want to be caught. Crip me out the gate. A nice little use of spore here and a great ball. I mean, PG is pretty fast, but it's not going to be fast enough. So we'll just use a great ball here. But yeah, the next gym is a uh, ice gym. I'm pretty sure Lake of Rage is uh, before that. Or at least I hope it is. Pikachu. Female Pikachu. Um, got any ideas? I'm thinking like Electra maybe? Or since I'm being a weeb as of late. Uh, what's it? All I can think ACDC. Superfly. Now nah, I think we already have an ACDC. Chili pepper. Uh, maybe I'll think of something better later. But yeah, glad glad we could come together here. Keep making progress. Uh, I guess it will be one P. Chili pepper. But yeah, man. What I was thinking of doing next is I don't know what I'm going to finish first. Because if I finish the Pokemon Conquest stuff, maybe I'll take a break. And I'll move to like a full-on Nuzlocke series. But I probably keep similar rules to what I have now. 
because, but I might try like a ROM hack out. Like, uh, I know there's a heart gold ROM hack that's quote unquote difficult, but I'd probably take another one. One that has more Pokemon. Like, I've heard, I've heard Emerald Kaizo is super hard, so maybe I wouldn't try to like do a full Nuzlocke of that. But I might try, I think I've heard of something called Vintage White. Because they like do like overhaul of weaker Pokemon, which sounds cool. So I might try to Nuzlocke one of those. Or I move on to other games. Because I am planning to get a, another computer. Well, a real computer. Instead of my laptop. Because if I get a real computer, I can play like more recent ROM hacks. And more recent Pokemon games on here. Or, like, other games in general. Because when it's summertime, uh, I'll probably upload something called my summer goals list or something. Which will be a bunch of games I want to complete for the end of summer. I would probably, it'll probably be a list of, like, maybe ten games or something. And then maybe I'll I'll have chat or a single person decide, or I'll just like spin a wheel. But I already have some ideas of what would be on there. I'd like to give a quick preview, probably um, Minecraft 100% will be on there because I've never I've played a bit of Minecraft. I might make me sound weird or old, even though I'm pretty young. I've never beaten Minecraft. I probably have like nine hours in minecraft in my entire life like it'd be a straight lie to say i've never played minecraft but my beating minecraft has to be one of um doing a complete playthrough of a souls game would probably be another one like i don't know if, i'd probably be elden ring at that point and i guess the main challenge would be it'd be on like a computer for me Completing the Mass Effect series. Like, it, it'd be, like, ten things like that. And I'd probably, in my video, talk about why I'm picking, like, these quote-unquote mainstream games. Oh, and one of them would have to be completing a genuine Nuzlocke. Because, like, right now I'm just doing a challenge lock and stuff, but if I'm gonna do a... Nuzlocke, Nuzlocke, you know, probably want to have that done by the summer. Because that's probably what I'll end up doing. Whatever I finish first, be it the, uh, my heart gold challenge lock, or the Pokemon Conquest stuff I'm doing right now, or at least the first run, I'll probably just take a break and or finish it, and then start the summer list. Because this run's probably just going to go to the... Probably just going to go to the Elite Four. And then probably just in there. Because, you know, this is the first randomizer I've ever done. And I can definitely say I went too far on the levels of trainers. Because, gee golly. It's a lot, a lot of grinding we have to do. It's cool. This is another, another. We just keep uh, clicking Darkrai moves. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know if you were here last time, but the uh, Swablu we caught didn't nickname it Blue. Messed up naming it Claudia, so it's Kudia. Uh, she's on the team. We found leftovers. And um, I caught a Lugia. Didn't catch a Pidgeotto because it used Whirlwind. So you win some, you lose some. Yo, we're in Mahogany Town. There's no way I can fight the gym already. Okay, yeah, I have to do Lake of Rage stuff. Okay. Because I was gonna be like, what? 
but we shall investigate the Pokemon Center. Maybe talk to that old man. Oh, also, um, we completed the Reggie Trio. I caught a Regice, so now we have them all. And I, I think Reggie Rock is the one with the "quote unquote" bad nature. I'm pretty sure he's minus defense and or special defense. Uh, we also caught a Lapras. Like I'll do a, I'll probably do a box check at the end of the stream, and then. Maybe uh, I grind Lugia before I stream tomorrow, which will also be a shorter stream, because uh, I'm actually going to see the new uh, Marvel movie, which will be fun. But don't worry, I'll, I have zero plans to spoil anything, unless someone wants my opinions on stuff. But I am notorious for uh, talking too long and explaining movies too thoroughly, so... Wouldn't want to do any of that to you. Yeah, it is nice. We have cool Pokemon. Um, I hope you're not too sad. I ended up taking Executor off the team. Just because, unless I get a growth TM, he, he just won't be too useful. I hope you're okay with that. Uh, he was replaced with the Swablu, which might be replaced with Lugia, which means maybe I replace Slowbro, because we also caught a bunch of water types lately. Okay, yep. Okay, it is Lake of Rage Day. Woohoo. We're going to see what that shiny Pokemon is. And, you know, maybe we go to the Radio Tower? I forget. I forget if it's Radio Tower or if we go back to Chuck's Town. First, after we do all that. Wait, I thought I thought this happened in Chuck's place. What do you sell? This this is this a meme? I can't believe he always sold that. Like no way that's mer <laughs> um, no way that's uh, randomized, right? He just legitimately sells that stuff. That's crazy. Well, yeah, we are going to Lake Rage, so that's cool. Yeah, we will indeed be catching a shiny Pokemon, or at least I hope. I mean, I bought Quick Balls from the Safari Zone place. So, hopefully it's not something that knows Teleport, Whirlwind, anything like that. It would be funny if it was Wobbuffet and or Carnivine. If the Carnivine meme didn't die, that'd be crazy. And I did talk about it earlier. I found a ROM editor for Pokemon Conquest. And, you know, I've done a little fiddling of it. Which was pretty cool. But I didn't want to change too much for the first run. But yeah, if anyone ever asks or, you know, I'm pretty sure if you just Googled Pokemon Conquest ROM editor would be one of the first five things things that comes up. But like a month ago it didn't exist or I couldn't find one. But I mean the main things that I basically done, which I hope no one would uh crucify me on, is I made evolving into Gyarados easier. Just cause I don't know how Link works, but I know it was faster for me to attack my own Magikarp and then heal it than it was for him to just be in battles and just do Splash the entire time. But yeah, I made it easier to get Gyarados. I buffed all the terrible abilities that were Blaze, Torrent, and 
you know, all the ones that are like, oh, when you're at one third health, you get plus one attack. Because they're up against abilities that either do the same thing or do it better. Like, Blaze is directly in conflict with um, Spirit on certain Pokemon and or a uh, hero, which I guess hero is more situational, but it's a situation you probably run into more than being at 33% or less health. Because spirit is like, oh, you, you're down to 33% health? Let me heal like half of that and give you plus one attack. Like, wh why would you ever take blaze over, over that, you know? And you know this is a rare opportunity, a rare opportunity for Sasha. Yeah, you can look at everyone's levels. Um, I did level us up mainly around uh, the previous gym leaders' levels. Ooh. Good thing Sasha's eating it up like the champion she is. She could have learned headbutt, and I could use her for headbutt encounters, but I was like, eh. I feel like I'd rather just keep Yawn over a Zen headbutt. Ooh, a Gallade, huh? Um... Yeah, I guess Sasha's gonna stay in. Ooh. Oh, wait, did I click surf? Oh, I wasn't thinking. Okay, good thing, uh... Good, good thing I'm not gonna be crit next turn. I'm, I, I, I should have clicked a psychic move. Oh, well, we got a crit, so it's fine. Yeah, I should have actually gone into Claudia. I mean, even if you crit, there's no way. Yeah, but we're... We do have a Leftovers. But it went to uh, Claudia. But Leftovers Slowbro. Cool. I know, Sasha. You took damage you didn't need to take. Sure did take it for the team. Mermaid. You know what I say about rumor raids? I say this looks like a job for you. But yeah, um, I know for a fact by the time we get to the Elite Four, they'll have fully evolved Pokemon. But uh. I think I said it's like 45 or something. Something something around there. Like they'll have fully evolved Pokemon. Which makes me think the final gym and the Elite Four will have fully evolved Pokemon. So that will definitely be it. Which we have to look forward to. Woohoo. Righty, I should go to the Pokemon Center. I probably will. After we catch a Pokemon. Let's see what we're gonna get. We'll go to the Pokemon Center. Actually, I remember this route pretty well. Well, because I'm pretty sure she has a Tangla. Yeah, I feel like I definitely remember this route pretty well. Uh, in the base game, at least. But we're doing good. All right, good thing this is a dupes. Let's get out of here. Yeah, Sport Darkrai is still super strong. As... There are no switchins I've ever seen. 
I think the only Pokemon immune would be Pokemon with, like, Early Bird or Overcoat, if that's an ability. Like, there are a lot of things that I'm starting to think didn't exist until Gen 5. If you're Drizzle Pelipper, there's no way you are. There's no way you're Drizzle Pelipper. Come on. Lame, you're not a Drizzle Pelipper. I'm actually kind of sad. Like, there's so many water types we've caught that could have the Drizzle ability, but we're just not getting them. Because I'm pretty sure um, they could. Because I th think I think our Ammonite Swiss swim at least. We're low level. We have increased odds by like twenty percent or whatever. So this should basically just be a catch. Woohoo! A name for a Pelipper. Oh, I know the perfect name. Because he's a guy, right? I'm pretty sure he's a guy. Steven Seagal. Well, actually, I don't know. We're trying to keep to the anime. Hmm. A water bird. Who's a water bird? I don't know. Steven's got to be some anime guy. Anime, anime, anime guy's name. My goodness, I was stuttering. I mean, there's Steven in the Pokemon anime. You know, Steven Seagal's a pretty good name. Yeah, I mean, on a totally unrelated note, uh, I'd have to look it up, but there is uh, a manga that I've started reading uh, because I can't believe I didn't get to it sooner. It's probably because I misread the synopsis because, you know, I have nothing wrong with uh, anime where the main character is a female lead, you know, but I, I misread what it was about and I assumed... Oh, it was about a guy who gets reincarnated. Oh, I, I cut. What a shame. Oh, it's just an Africorn. And probably, ooh, there's probably a big mushroom over there, though. Okay, so I'll probably go over there off stream. But, um, yeah, I misread it. It's basically about a guy who plays an o Otome game, or however you say it. Like a dating sim game. For, like, his sister or whatever. Then he dies, and he's reincarnated in the game. <gasps> Ooh, that's actually dupes. What a shame. What a shame. Good Pokemon, though. But literally have a better version. Oh, you could have a better nature. But it's not going to be worth grinding you to level 55. Yeah, back to the anime I was talking about. Uh, yeah, so... So, but when I read that... Um, I assumed, since the picture of the anime, I assumed he reincarnated as the girl, uh, the female lead or whatever. But then I took a better read at the synopsis, and I was confused. Because it did still refer to him as a man. And I was thinking, oh, this is like, your life is a villainous, except he's the female lead? What is this? I don't know. I don't know if this is for me. But then I was browsing YouTube one day, and there was a specific scene where uh, a bunch of the male leads in the game are being mean to this one girl because they all uh, are basically saying, Ah, this is a shame. I guess Poop Tar is the only, only Pokemon I can get here. They were all basically saying, Ah, oh, we love the girl, so we're... One, we're not going to just care about your feelings. We're going to disrespect you. And then main character man steps up and says, no, you shall not do that, and I'm going to beat you, blah, blah, blah. You know, somewhat edgy reasons. And 
you know, I, I saw that on YouTube, and I was like, oh, that's this anime? No way. Oh, this is definitely worth a watch. And I watched it. Not only did I watch it, I spent, like, over an hour getting caught up on the manga thing. Manga, light novel, whatever. And it's the same thing I did with My Life as a Villainous. Um, I'm not huge on uh, reading manga or anything, but I sure do do it. Something catches my fancy. I guess we're going to be fishing. And we'll just do both fishing encounters instead of the... No, actually... I'll just check it out at another time of day. That is what I will do. Check it out at another time of the day. And I'll do the same thing on the sea we can route. All right, we landed a Pokemon. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I like comedy anime. And to be... I feel like I have a Yon Mega. But I'm not confident enough to not catch it. So I'm going to catch you. I feel like, I know you probably know like Sonic Boom or something. I didn't forget. I'll go back to the thing. But like, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty. Oh my gosh. Attack. Like, yeah, I can even like crash in. It's not like I'm all that. But I am I am a fool for edgy and times. Just depending on how far the edge goes. But sometimes it's like haha, funny kind of edge. Sometimes I'm all about it. Like This is a speed booster, so even if I already have one, this is probably already a good get. Hmm. Is there a fast dude in my hero? I mean there's Ida. That's probably a better name for a bug man. Oh, what's his name? Is it Spitter? Splinter? Spinner? Who's the lizard man? I can't remember his name. It is Spinner. Okay, I just looked it up. But, like, yeah. I like rom-coms, I, but I usually like the more calm part. Like, I'm not talking about harem anime. Which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. That sort of thing. Probably watch most that have come out since like since I was a teen but like yeah and the name of that anime was like my life and a oh the it was like the life it's like the world of Otome games is hard for mob characters or something like that I just know Otome games and mob character are in it. So yeah. So yeah, that's a that's one I'm caught up on with the manga. Like, yeah, I mean as far as rom coms go, I think the last legitimate rom com I read it fully caught up on. 
was, you know, villainous. And then it would probably have to be uh, World God Only. Just because, like, I was on a nostalgia trip, and I'm like, oh, it's never getting another season. Spoilers for the World God Only notes. Uh, season 2, I guess a bit of Season 3, there's, like, a regular girl. Her whole gimmick is, oh, she's an average girl, blah, blah, blah. Kind of like how Kama is supposed to be at the start before he gets development. And I always thought they kind of looked similar, which is kind of funny. Keeping belt. Um, but yeah, she's a pretty important character. And I, after what happens in season three, oh, I was like, oh, she deserves something nice to happen to her. Like it was one of those times where it's like, oh, I feel sad for her. She she deserves someone nice. And there were two things I thought to myself as a joke. Um. Because in dating games, there's usually the joke of, oh, this character seems like a final boss, like the final girl you, you go after. And I always thought that would be Elsie, who was like the demon girl he, you know, works with or whatever. And I knew it would be a crime if, um, even if, you know, they had never had a romantic sort of relationship, it'd be a crime if they didn't sleep at her then you know at least explore that for a bit like elsie deserved to have more importance than just sidekick material so i thought that and i also thought chihiro which is her name or at least i'm confident that's her name oh look at the crit deserves to get someone nice and, and let's just say both of those things ended up happening both of those things ended up happening and it was in a kind of a sad way too like, I won't spoil what happens to Elsie. They're very cute. Now, I have zero interest in Clefairy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I am I feel like I've said it before. Kind of a weeb. Probably seen, I've seen a lot of ants. More than a normal person. Yeah. Instead of me talking about anime, let's get to Lake of Rage. Yeah, comment down below. What was your first anime that you watched from beginning to end? Or if you've never really watched anime, you know, what's the first anime you, you know you you dip you you dipped your toes into? You know? For me, I feel like it was most people. It has to be like Dragon Ball. And then followed by Naruto. Those were the like first anime I've ever really seen. And then the first anime I've ever like completed, completed outside of that would probably be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Well, I actually it'd probably be Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, I pr I I definitely prefer Brotherhood. No questions. No questions about that. What what got me into anime, don't hate me for it, uh, it wasn't One Piece, because One Piece and I have had many, many breaks. It's not like I don't like One Piece or anything. It was just until, like, until I was, like, 18, basically. Like, 17, 18. Which I say like it was forever. It really wasn't. But it wasn't until then where I was. I started um, accepting uh, subs. And. Well, I shouldn't say accepting subs. I accepted subs a long time ago. But for like my shonen anime that would get me really hype and stuff, you know, I basically had to build up to the point where I was like, oh yeah, I can. I can read anything, still be engaged. It wasn't until then, because the reason I hadn't kept up with One Piece was uh, Funimation or whoever did it at the time, uh, they, I don't know what it was, but they would take long breaks between dubbing. Like, I remember it was like Annie's Lobby, and there was a huge dub hike. 
and then it was like Impel Down. I mean, not Impel. Thriller Bark, right? And what made Thriller Bark so awful, it wasn't like it was like five minute recaps. There would be episodes where it was like eight minute recaps, and there'd be scenes of Luffy going through the same exact building three to four times. And I was just like, okay, I'm done with One Piece for a while. Because after that, you know, Dub took another hi- hiatus and stuff. And then I don't think it was until like, uh, yeah, it wasn't until a while I, quote unquote, got caught caught up with One Piece, which I'm really not even caught up with One Piece. I'm just caught up enough to where spoilers don't shock me. Like I I've seen up to Zo in One Piece, but I've also basically spoiled myself to the point where oh, I know what happens with Sanji. I know about the Vin Smokes, which I guess, spoiler warning, I won't go into, oh, Team Rocket, I won't go exactly into what any of that means, but I know about a bunch of spoiler stuff, even though I haven't seen all the stuff to get there. Wait, did they actually rob me? I was did they actually just take a thousand bucks? Can I fight them for my money back? Dude, I can't believe I, I can't believe I got scammed. That that kind of sucks. I'm stuck on this door. I would have fought those guys for that money. Tell you what. Sticky bar. Not a very useful item. Yeah, I think Lugia would probably be the last Pokemon I'd apply to pure. Because I honestly wish I didn't teach it to swallow, but there is a move to it. Because, like, Facade, Toxic Orb, Guts Boosted, pretty strong. I know people run Flame Orb, but I forget if Guts just fully ignores burn when it adds the extra attack or if it just adds so much attack that it like negates burn I forget which one did it other intimidating shames I'll tell you what buddy are making it to Lake catching or whatever And I don't think we fight any Team Rocket guys, do we? I I just think we fish and catch some Pokemon. See what's going on. Good thing Sasha's still alive here. But honestly, I don't think I'll do any grind stream. Because, like, we're doing fine. Because we sh- we're basically on par with any bosses we'll run into. I, at least I hope so. And this does kind of leave me terrified. Because I feel like this is what happened last time. I was like, oh, we're on par, barely higher than some of these trainers. Oh, look, another Mewtwo. But we go fight a gym, and they're like, Psh, level 40, level 43, which makes me think, next gym's going to have, like, level 49. Hey. Like, like that has to be their hard cap, which means for the final gym, I'll need, like, 50 Pokemon, and for the Elite Four, I'll probably need, I'll probably go in at level 59 close to 60 and pray <laughs> and pray we're not uh, under leveled Pokemaniac 
you know Bill Revere here. Um, I'll teach you about Bill now. If, uh, I think Claire's her name. She, she's like uh, Lance's sister. If she has level 50 Pokemon, that just brings home that I'll need to, I'll, I need to be like level 59, six, like low 60s by the time I get to the Elite Four. Hope I don't lose anybody. But I, I mean, we have such a powerful team possibility at that point that I can probably just win off merit there. Like, I could probably bring all the Reggies. I could probably have a team of Legendaries by that point. And yeah, I sure was scammed by them. I, I didn't know that uh, the reason you don't take that path is Team Rocket robs you of a thousand dollars. But we got an amulet coin pretty early on. And Darkrai's just been getting us uh which ultimately probably isn't good for his Eevees or Ivies. Well Eevees. Because we can't change his Ivies. So he probably uh he has good move coverage, so I guess uh none of it would be a waste. Even though he's mainly like a special attacker. Man, that was a crit. Are still doing good. Sasha didn't die. It's great. Making so much money. We're still making money. Oh, I feel like I knew routes ahead. Yeah, we're doing good. I mean, if we if we want to talk anime, I could talk anime forever. I think I actually didn't go into it very much. Like the anime that got me into anime, well, to watching anime religiously. Like I talked about One Piece and then I stopped. Um, was actually Fairy Tale. Uh, this kid I knew introduced me to Fairy Tale, like as it was airing. Well, I shouldn't say as it was airing. Like, it was basically up to uh, the arc right before Phantom Lord or whatever. And it was the episodes were coming out regularly. And I would go to his house to watch it for the longest time until, like, eventually I learned where I could watch it. Legitimately, of course. In the dub. And... Uh, yeah. And then it was actually, fair, fairy tale was actually pro a huge part of why I started watching subs regularly. Because for the longest time, uh, Funimation had it dubbed to, like, episode 50, I want to say. Which is where, uh, there's a, basically a tournament arc between the people of the main guild, fairy tale. Think of Rage, we finally made it. But, like, yeah, and I started watching subbed. What I will say is, One Piece probably overall better, better anime. No, no question, hands down, because it took me a while to realize. Like it wasn't until I was like, probably like, a uh, hundred and fifty episodes in. It, uh, actually no, it was Tinro Island arc. I realized, oh yeah, this anime is just the power of friendship. But nothing says it better than uh, the time Ursa had to fight 100 monsters, which was, it had to be around 2009, 2008. Because I remember there were memes about Urza being the Hulk from Avengers. It was because there's the line of, oh, you have an army, we have a Hulk. But instead it was like Tony, Tony Stark um, was someone 
was like a fairy tale person. And then there was like a saber tooth guy or like, you know, someone saying, oh, we have a hundred mar- uh, monsters and they say we have an Urza, you know, like that was one of the super cool moments. Because what I will say, uh, fairy tale maybe does better than one piece. This might sound blasphemous. It makes you feel like you're a member of fairy tale. Like, when I'm watching the Straw Hats do stuff, I don't think, oh, yeah, I am a Straw Hat. I am part of the crew. You know, I know that might might sound crazy. Yeah, I like shows that can balance a large cast and keep them relevant, but, like, legitimately relevant. Because, like, One Piece, it will keep some relevant. But you won't see them for, like, 100, 200. <gasps> oh, it's a shame. It's a shame I literally... Of a, wait a minute, that's it's not legal. So I can catch this. This is also a female, which is funny. This is actually super hilarious. Uh, well, hopefully you're a good nature. You got Yaku. What? What's another good name? Land shark. Trying to stick with the <sighs> wait. No, I was. I don't know why I was gonna say Cobra. I was thinking Dragon Slayers from Fairy Tale since we were talking about Fairy Tale. But there's not a Earth Slayer. I mean, Sting. There's Loxus. Out of fire guy. You wouldn't be. I'm terrible at spelling. It's also female. Uh, you know what? Hmm, actually, you know what? I'm gonna look something up. I'm looking up what is <laughs> her name is Nazi whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I must have said that wrong. Nashi Yeah, maybe she won't go on the team anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe she won't go on the team anytime soon. Nashi Dragnew. What a name. Uh, but time for the fishing encounter. Uh, we do have a Yaku in the sea. Which I could have na- named her Yakuza. But that was a female get by. So I decided, since we were talking about fairy tale. To uh, name it, name her, not, not she. Yeah, hopefully this Pokemon doesn't go, go on the team because I'm I'm gonna slip up and call her uh, another word I probably shouldn't say on YouTube and or Twitter. Ho- hopefully the audio pickup doesn't think I said a bad word there. Ah, uh, ah, she. It's the destroyer. It's. I can't believe it. It's the destroyer of worlds. I think this was the first Pokemon to almost seriously wipe us. Oh, how far we have come. It's actually funny, because wasn't there a girl talking about how much she loves Clefairies? That sure is funny. Yeah, because I don't want to waste any more pokeables. If you die, you die. Well, actually, you're a normal type. Sasha might kill you. Ah, but you're both super weak. There's no way you don't take a Zen headbutt. Come on. So I. Oh, actually, Sasha's pretty physical. Sasha, it. And you get the turn one wake up. Oh my god. It's doing it again. No. <laughs> Maybe the name of the episode is The Return. And it's just a screenshot of Cleffa. I don't think it's possible. But I think it'd be funny if 
I let if I let uh, Sasha here somehow get to yellow HP. Oh, that would have been super funny if I didn't go to the Pokemon Center, right? And uh, uh, maybe I do that off stream. Uh, just to run into Cluffa again. Actually, no. It won't work. Because Lake of Rage will be cured by then. So I was going to say, I go off stream. Uh, so <laughs> so I paused. Because uh, I can't believe... Oh, you eat it up. It's fine. Get it up. Zen headbutt. There you go. Alright. Didn't miss. I can't believe. Crit it. You know, we didn't need it. It, was, it would be too much power. Unfortunate. So, how many encounters is that today? Two we lost? Oh, wait a minute. No, nah, it doesn't work like that. I was gonna say, maybe it's possible we get a Garchomp out of this. But, uh, it doesn't work like that. At least I think it doesn't. Yeah, uh, it knew Magical Leaf. Uh, even if it crit, I don't think it would have done that much damage to Zasha. But, um, should have thrown the Pokeball, I guess. Should have just thrown the Pokeball. Oh my god, if it walked into me, would I have had to fight it? Actually, isn't there... I could be crazy, but I feel like you can walk around here. Pick up items and stuff. I could be crazy. Uh, I think I'm going to do that before Lake of Rage stuff. I know it might sound boring, but... Uh... Yeah, once again, Cleffa proves how evil... Maybe the thumbnail for the video will be evil Cleffa instead of me getting leftovers. I titled the video, The Destroyer of Worlds Returns, or something like that. Yeah, if uh, Cleffa stays here, I might off-stream get, like, uh, Slowbro Poisoned, uh, clear the poison, like, when she's in, like, uh, yellow health, wait for it to go for Sing or something, and then just screenshot it and be like, Bam. The destroyer's back. Screenshot. Cleffa destroying my uh, Slowpoke again. Even though uh, Slowpoke never fought Cleffa in Faulkner's Gym. I feel like I can walk around and pick up items. I feel like I'm not crazy. Actually, I know I can. I'm pretty sure you get a phone number for a gym leader, right? Yeah, I know my stuff. I'm not, I'm no idiot. Actually, I think I can go up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can go up, actually. Actually, this Pokemon should be level 30-something. So maybe I start out with a uh, Rotom. I think that's what I do, right? I just start out with Rotom. Oh, actually, is this just a place I normally could have walked to? That's what it looks like. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, I feel like you get you get a gym leader's number over here. Like I could be crazy, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Pretty sure I'm not wrong about that. But maybe I'll just check it out uh, after. Because we are 
Almost at the... The, uh... Almost at the two hour mark. So... I'm glad we got, uh... Got three to four people, to, four different people to stop by. Banjo Man made a return. As did some other people. And the same same rules still apply. You know, the whole facing a Pokemon from the PC, from my team, you know. It's uh five followers or sub or you know, five subs on YouTube, you know, whatever happened. Like I might uh try streaming on Iron Ball. Hold up. Oh psh, I'm an idiot. I was thinking Pokeball. I know what an iron ball is. Yeah. It's one of the strongest fling moves. Also reduces your speed. But uh yeah, we're at the two hour mark. Uh next stream probably won't be more than an hour. Um, like at most. Like maybe we just do Team Rocket stuff. I'll probably look up or at least investigate what I need to do next and think about if I can do that in just like an hour around that amount of time because next stream is going to be a shorter one which i'm sure anyone who's watching would appreciate because you know these longer ones i kind of go on i mean I've talked about a lot we talked about pokemon night we talked about conquest wrong uh editor that came out talked about a lot of anime but you know we're still going strong Doing the work done. I mean, we talked about my summer list. Uh, and, you know, hopefully by the time we finish the Conquest run, or this run, whichever we finish first, we'll probably be taking a break, and then I'll probably uh, post the 10 or so games I've left finish before in the summer because I actually have a pretty big list because no I won't spoil any it's a noticeable list can I walk into you I can't all right we are gonna do what I said I'm gonna go into plusma because this thing should be in its 30s and we really only have Claudia and uh, Slowbro here. What Pokemon could it be? I just hope it's not a, a lame bug Pokemon. It would that'd be terrible. Or a Pokemon that doesn't evolve, because most of those are bad. Even if it's a Pokemon we already have, it being shiny might, you know, just make it worth putting on the team. If the Gabites or anything to go off of? Maybe it's a Gabite? I don't know. I, I'll probably do the old rod encounter. Okay, you know what? Maybe that's what I do. We'll do the old rod encounter just to see what it is. We killed our fishing encounter. But, it, you know, it's possible that the encounters change when Gyarados goes away. Probably talk to Lola. Probably just. If I don't look at this explore. Sure, I don't. Thing I, 
to the Lord. Come off of that. That's how we're bent. Too big for me. I do is the word. Stuff. Get with the Catching it. This is a legendary. Let's make it exciting. Crazy, we already had. Not everything. Could be a bad. Did you rock? Better why? Speed. Uh, there's a chance this which would come me a flying couldn't know uh -huh. I don't think you guys this is, guys don't know who this is. This is D. It has to be D. I don't think this is interesting. Could be. Pokemon's too. Oh, if I put. Who cares? Who cares if we were psychic? Oh, well, we don't have a wall. Definitely going to be next. Shine. Maybe. It would. Like you have to. These are dream. It's a kind of. It's kind of the same. That's what we'll call. It. Oh, you do. Definitely not good. But X one. Does mean Carnival probably never make it. It's always rain. Ew. Can't hit up. 
crown. Super cool. Plane type on this. Cut the ground. That didn't seem to change. Pretty good. Let's just say we just put I don't think I can put the rope. Say Don't mind. Okay, so radio tower. Oh wait. Go to mahog. Okay, so it's okay. So mahogany. So at least I know what I'm doing. Let the game take. Probably have. Let's say about the team. Let's say goes here. Let's say. You have the dark stone. It's the dark. So but I'm not gonna play. It's not gonna happen. Slow poke would big dude dark. I think those. Definitely would have if for Sand. Crazy. Sand. Sand team. Wait, you're full. 
But yeah, water. Where do you have the grass? Pokemon was this. There are two. Happen. Same Pokemon. Oh. Uh, imagine. Checker. I'll have to look at old. I can change. That was a cool. <gasps> Wooper. Water absorber. That's. And good thing I have a good move. Definitely gonna use. I can know. It's a Guess I can just catch her. That's what I'll do. Okay, I'll, I'll just have to catch another. What's that? So, yeah. Not even the but uh uh but then congrats no it wouldn't have we'd have plenty of ammo sir. You know what? I like that. That idea. Oh, the uh, had to figure to that's what the thing is. Probably what happened. Switch Pokemon. Yeah, that's no. Or sand. Or. Pretty sure I can learn. You can definitely do. All right. Probably won't actually sand to. Oh, 
water absorbed. Guys, drop and drop. Again, or when we don't have time, I don't see. Stop by. Gonna be a short. Probably just gonna explore. Not get big. See, it's all. Guys. See you later. Be safe out there. Stay out.